Hey, this is Matthew from Nerd News Today. And Andrea from Insert Geek here. And it's time for another unboxing video. Yay, Ooh. more toys. Yay. <laughs> more toys to add to our wall of junk behind us. So much stuff. That we'll have hopefully more of as we do more of these videos. Yes. Good times. All right, so today we have from USAopoly, the Fun Edibles Star Trek figures, uh, which we first saw at Star Trek Mission last year. <laughs> yes, we did. And you really liked them. Yes, I did. They're cute, what can I say? Yeah, so they're kind of in the similar vein of like the Funko pop figures, uh, similar size, you can see that for sure. Uh, except that instead of being little caricatures of humans or whatever the characters will be in movies, mm -hmm. they've taken the characters from Star Trek and they made them into food. Because you've always wanted to eat Captain Kirk. Well, some people probably have. Yeah, probably. yeah good point. <laughs> so we have three here in series one and uh, Andrew, why don't you take one of these and okay. kind of yeah, so we have here, why don't you put Captain Kirk right I have. We have Captain Cup Kirk. Uh, I think that's pretty self-explanatory, but if not, he's a cupcake. And according to his bio on the back, an alternate universe exists where food is king and pop culture icons are tasty treats. Collect and display your favorite characters mashed up with fun foods, freshly made and ready to collect. It's the vinyl figures collector's guilty pleasure with zero calories. Woohoo! Yeah, that bio's on all the packages, so they don't have their own little special bios, um, but that's pretty much to explain what this whole fun edible stuff is all about. It's kind of yeah. cool. Yeah, I kind of dig it. I mean, hasn't everyone always wanted their own Spock tart? That sounds interesting. Spock tart. Yeah, so Captain Kirk is a cupcake, Kirk, and Spock is whatever a Spock tart is, and the Gorn is a Gorn bread muffin. <laughs> so, I mean, it's pretty pretty clever. Yeah, I like it. Uh, personally, I thought it sh should have been a uh, Captain Kirk cake, but that's just me. I'm cool with Captain, you know, with Captain Cup Kirk too. So, what did you like about these when you first saw them? They're cute. That's pretty much it. That's what told you. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. It's just they're ridiculously cute. And I didn't. Knew, yeah, they're food, but yeah, they're just adorable. It's a pretty unexpected pairing. Uh, yeah. In, in the toy line, we were used to like the kid robot. Uh, yummy food Just, series, mm -hmm. those, which are really cool. We like those a yeah. lot. The Labbit mashups. The Labbit. Yeah. But more so in the, in the vein of like food items, it's you know, you yeah. don't really see uh, this. No, <laughs> you do not. No. That's kind of what it was. It, they're really cute, and then when you look at them and realize they're food, it's like, I never knew I wanted it, but I kind of do. Well, let's set our phasers on open Ooh. and take these guys out of the box. See, who do you want to do first, actually? We're going to go with pick. number one because they are actually numbered. Yes. So. Yeah, Captain Kirk, Captain Cup Kirk, sorry, I had to get that right, is number mm -hmm. one. Spock Tart is two, and the Gorn Bread Muffin is Trace. I'm going to say the third one's going to be the most fun. So I'm going to open up Kirk first. Let's see, once again, we didn't bring scissors, so you have to watch us wrestle with the stuff down here. Oh, there we go. I blew out a little bit of the box. Badly. <laughs> so I did that. Uh, I can't take it and, anywhere. <laughs> and yeah, I'm a little aggressive with my box opening. <laughs> yeah. So it's Captain Kirk. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, but you're opening Spock, so that kind of defies logic, what you just did. Oh. Well, the Gorn says, eat me. The Gorn doesn't <laughs> speak. What are you talking about? What does the Gorn say? Gorn, 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 Gorn. Go, 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 go. Do you see what I have to deal with people? Hmm. Okay, so I'm just gonna put that over there. Here he is, last thing to get my Spock tart out. <laughs> and here, why, why don't you open the Gornbread muffin? Because I can't be trusted with these boxes. Clearly, there are tricks to it. Notice that. Oh, one, two. Let's see if I can actually get it out with the box. And I just got hit with debris from the door. <laughs> Go figure. It, the, it's actually packed in pretty tightly. So. Yeah, they're pretty secure, that's for sure. And here we go. Here's our trio of the first wave of these. Uh, Here's the little piece of plastic that went flying off just now and hit him in the face. And uh, nearly decapitated me. That's a tiny little piece that couldn't have decapitated you. Blinded you, sure, but I, not decapitated. I have a tiny head. I'm gonna keep moving on. <laughs> Alright, so let's let's get a good look at these. Here's here's your Kirk. Here's the Spock. <laughs> so it's very cartoony. Uh, you know, Funko pops 
since you know we're gonna, we're gonna do a lot of comparisons to the pops just because they are in that same kind of vein. Mm -hmm. uh, it's it's similar cartoonist. I'm gonna grab one in fact right behind us. We have uh, Conor McGregor here <laughs> from the UFC, and we have Ken from Street Fighter. So let's just get them all together here. And oh, they look so cute. <laughs> they were made to be set up this way. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it, you didn't know you want them. That's what we do. We bring you things you never know you wanted until it happens. See, UFC and Star Trek. Uh, I'd pay money to see the Gorn fight Conor McGregor. Okay, actually, that would too. That would be a really good fight, but Kirk would get his ass kicked. Spock uh, might have, not Spock might stand a chance, but Vulcan death touch. Exactly. Yeah, it's whatever. <laughs> it's McGregor. Eh. Ooh, oh. he goes down. And Kirk t bags him. Oh god, <laughs> Kirk's a bad sport. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> yeah. All right, so let's, let's get a good look at these guys. So, and now I'm going to compare them to the Funko Pops. Very similar. Uh, I, guess, I guess the biggest difference is that these guys have mouths, and uh, the Pops tend to not really have that. Um, since these are more food-oriented, there's no noses. The Pops do have little nosy noses. Yeah. Um, even with the hands, um, you can see that there's actual definition in the glove, you know, in, in McGuire's glove, his fingers. Here, because um, Kirk is holding his phaser, he has fingers, but over here, he just has a tiny ball of nothing to indicate that that's his hand. So they're, they're also pretty darn colorful, which we, we can take these guys out of the shop for now, so we don't really need to talk about yeah, we don't those anymore. Um, they're pretty colorful. Uh, it would appear that they have articulation, but they don't, and it's yeah. just how the construction is of them. But it wouldn't be cool if their arms did move, actually. That would be a lot of fun, yeah. I gotta say, I'm loving what they did with his hair. I was just gonna say that, yeah. <laughs> icing is his hair, and it has the nice swirl, nice little swoop. I'm enjoying that tremendously. Um, and they definitely feel yeah. like muffins. And I mean, they're basically all they, in they the muffin feel. cupcake family with their design. They all have the ridged backs, like it was a cupcake container. Yeah, it has a nice texture to it. You know? It does. It is. It, yeah, only it really does feel like you have like a Star Trek cupcake in your hand. Yeah, that, for I've some reason sprouted legs. Always wanted to, you know. Look, look, I get to, you know, always wanted to molest Kirk in some horrible fashion. Here's yeah. your chance. Exactly. And he's a cupcake. So exactly. It's a win-win situation for everyone. I don't really want to molest him. It's okay. This video is getting awkward. Very. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, their, their hair is really cool because that basically is their head. Yeah, I won't touch it. Especially yeah, the Gorn. Uh, you know, they all have the kind of cupcake head. Kirk has a swirl. The Gorn is cool though because he has more texture in, he has scales, this is really what it is. He's got scaly stuff on the side, he's got the ridges which are nice, he even has the cute little teeth and they they have good texture to it and this is so much cuter than Kirk, Kirk can go to hell. Wow, that was harsh. What? The Gorn is cooler! Seriously, tell me I'm wrong, tell me this one is not cooler than that one. Spock thinks this is all very illogical. Well, now I'm gonna stack Kirk on top of his head. That's even worse, but now I kind of wonder. I don't think we can get all three. Let's see, can it's gonna be Tower? No, no. Maybe? No. It's not, oh, no. No. Hold on, hold on. Oh, yeah, ah! right, well, I still got it for a few seconds. We had it for a second. <laughs> for like two. <laughs> so also cool is that all these guys have little accessories, so which is nice. Kirk, you see, has his phaser. Spock has a tricorder, the Gorn has... Yes, he has his little... Sonic screwdriver? Yes. <laughs> but one other great thing is he has the insignia. Both him and Spock have the Star Trek insignia on it. You know, their badges. And that's kind of nice. Give, you know, touch of authenticity. And Spock has his little tricorder, which is even better. Now I'm kind of thinking like what the Gorn has. It kind of looks like he's an ice cream vendor and like an ice cream truck, and that's his like thing for change. <laughs> So, you know, like, they just come along, it's like a hot summer day on Ryza, and they're just like, oh, we'd like uh, two butterscotch rums and a rock to Gino, and Gorn's like, oh, that'll be three credits. A rock? You're like just pull, pulling them all out, aren't you? Yeah. I will have a rock to Gino. So one of the things that we should probably talk about, um, two out of the three paint drop boys, not bad. Uh, the Gorn has a little bit happening in the lip, it's a little off, but it's it's not bad at all. Um, not No crazy bleeding or anything like that. Um, I think Kirk looked pretty solid too. Kirk's pretty solid, um, for the most part. I mean, his eyebrows don't necessarily look like they're totally filled in, but that's not even a big, that's not really noticeable, it's not a mess or it's not a problem. Yeah. But I see Spock has a little bit of some difficulties. Yeah, Spock, unfortunately, he's struggling a little bit. We'll start with the back. 
because that's probably the clearest thing. You can see the the paint just isn't as clean. It's bleeding around the edges. The, his ears, there's just blue everywhere. He is just a runny blue man. <laughs> uh, even in the corner over here by his hairline, it looks as if somebody just did he use the wrong size brush or something? Oh, because there's a nice little dab of paint right there. Oh yeah, that's pretty it's mm -hmm. pretty noticeable. Once it's out of the box. In the box, you're not going to see it as much, yeah, no, no, but no. still something to watch out for. In general, with any of these kinds of collectibles, the scale, um, quality control is not the greatest typically. So Yeah, I mean, even there, like I said, it looks as though the blue just kind of got away from everybody because even on the gold over here on the arms, there's just a little bit of a bleed into it. But I mean, it's not a horrible job. We've all seen far worse, um, but it's definitely something to pay attention to. And even looking at their faces, I mean, for the most part, the faces are fine. There's no, yeah. there's no like stuff on any of the faces, which is important. That's really the most important yeah. thing. I don't mind a little slop around the back of the head if that's just whatever, but you know, if there's stuff on the face, that's a problem. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, the ears too kind of bother me, just because they're. Just... Yeah. He looks as though he he had a mishap with some hair dye. <laughs> Spock was trying to go uh, to a Avenged Sevenfold concert and was dyeing his hair. Pop culture. I, I, uh, it's, a, it's a band I hear that the kids listen to. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know. All right, that's basically, I mean, there's not really too much to talk about these guys, but they are really cool. Um, and you might see behind us, hopefully you'll see behind us here. We also have one of the Ghostbusters ones, which we reviewed, or I reviewed in an earlier video, so you guys can check that out. Yeah. Um, the Ghostbusters, they had Pizza Vankman instead of Peter Vankman. And Slimer. And they had a Jello Slimer, and they had a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man Marshmallow. That's pretty on the nose. Oh, that's a little obvious, yeah. Yeah, but they're all pretty cute. Um, so as of now, we've only seen two series from USAopoly, which is Series 1 of the Star Trek and Series 1 of the Ghostbusters. The big question is, will there be more of these? Uh, not that we know an answer to that, yeah. but we I think, think we, what do you think? Yeah, you want to see more of these? I would love to see more of them. Um, I think they're interesting. I think they're creative. I would not want to be inundated with a ton of them like, you know, Funko does because I, I'm i sorry, there's only so much collecting a person can do and, you know, I want to collect one. I feel complete having all three, you know, the same with the Ghostbusters. You know, you have a set, oh, a wave, I guess. You know, you have it, it's good, it's great, you don't need any more. And then you wait until the next wave comes out of something completely different and I like that idea. I don't want to see a gazillion of them, but I would love to see a few more different waves. Who would you want to have in your uh, second wave? Ooh. And we're talking the original series now. Oh, if we were going to be going back into Star Trek, um, doing an original wave, I would love, want a women's one because I would want Yao Min Rand, Ohura, and um, Nurse Chapel because Yao Min Rand with that hair, Ohura <laughs> because you have to, and, and you know Christine Chapel was pretty awesome too. She doesn't get nearly as much love as she should. So what would Rand be? It should be like an ice cream cone, like a soft serve ice cream cone. Uh, it depends on what they're trying. It depends. I wonder what kind of pastry it would be. What's a good pastry that goes upward? That's... Should be like a good cream puff, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Or at the very least, we can get plenty more cupcakes. Because again, this whole first yeah. wave is kind of cupcake heavy. So I definitely want to see something a little bit different, and not another series of cupcakes. Yeah, I definitely would want to see more creative stuff. I mean, um, just going back to the Ghostbusters real quickly. Jello Slimer, I thought, is really creative. So, there's a whole world of pastries out there that can be pulled from, different food products, and I think they should. I, I think that there are a lot of different shows, a lot of different fandoms that are begging to be turned into f cute collectible food products. The market is wide open for <laughs> cute collectible food products. Yep. All right, so that is the Star Trek Fun Edibles from USAopoly. Really cute. I think we give them uh, two Vulcan symbols. Up. Oh, yeah. I'd go with three. Wow. All right, we're going... One for each. <laughs> oh, see? Yeah. All right. So I guess it gets our seal of approval in that case. Yeah, so. I'm cool with it. All right. Yeah. So you guys can check them out. Um, we found these in GameStop, in fact. Uh, I don't think yeah. we've seen these in Toys R Us. I have not seen them in Toys R Us, no. But uh, GameStop has them, and I'm pretty sure you can find these on Amazon and similar mm -hmm. online vendors. So if you're into Star Trek and you want something that's a little different and still pretty awesome, check out these fun edibles. So, all right, well, thank you guys for watching. Yeah. See you in the next video. Take care. Live long and prosper.